First off, I um, hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, I did, uh, trained a couple people, but then also one of my clients brought up to me an interesting question I thought was appropriate to talk about in uh, this video this week. Um, that's about the people who are naturally skinny or naturally on the other side, they can't seem to lose weight. Um, you know, those people exist. And you know, she, asked, she was asking me about what I thought of, about those people. You know, I'm coming from a place as a person who used to be very naturally skinny. Um, I really couldn't gain any weight. I had trouble, I really could not do it. There are certain things that are like common elements that I think um, people should sort of recognize and would help you actually understand how uh, weight loss works and how energy regulation works. Your body is an energy regulator in essence. You know, if you have too much energy, either through too much food, what would you do if you were an energy regulator and you need to maintain balance? Energy I don't need, I'm either gonna do one of two things. Store it for a rainy day, or put the rest in waste, and your body does that. It stores food as fat, if it doesn't have, if it doesn't need the energy, it stores the rest of that energy as fat. The rest of the food goes to waste. Or if there's too little energy, what are you gonna do? In your storage, you're gonna take the food out of the pantry, and you know you're gonna eat your canned beans. You're gonna eat your, uh, uh, um, you're gonna eat your, you know, sardines. Like you're gonna eat the stored food because you don't have any. And so that's what the body does. Your body can extract from each type of food. So there's carbs, there's fats, there's protein. Your body can extract four calories of energy per gram of protein or carbs. But for fat, your body can extract almost, actually more than double that, it's nine grams for a gram of fat. So your body can actually store more than double the energy in fat than it could using carbs or protein, which is why it does it. And to even further break this down, your body actually has to break all of these things, your carbs, your fat, your protein, if they need to use all of them, they all have to be converted to the same energy currency. That energy currency is called adenosine triphosphate. If you think of it just for the purpose of this explanation, it's literally like adenosine and three uh, phosphate molecules attached to an adenosine. And then your body extracts the energy from that by breaking one of the bonds. And that's how it works. And now that actually uh, brings up an interesting point about creatine, which I was supposed to explain a while ago. Creatine actually if you think of ATP as the currency of energy that your body cells use, think of creatine as change. And when you have it, your body can now put an extra phosphate back onto what is now ADP instead of ATP. Because when it's when you break one phosphate, there's no it's no longer three, it's two. So die for two, adenosine diphosphate. So that's how energy works and that's how energy uses. That's how energy is used in the body. So think of fat because you now know that fat can store a lot more energy per gram than uh, carbohydrates and protein. Fat is actually an ideal um, medium with which to store energy because the same amount of mass of fat can store more energy. Someone who is naturally skinny in most cases is either someone who is eating less or healthier than you might think they are eating. Because you're probably not spending the entire day with most people. There's some energy being used or stored or wasted in some way because that's what our bodies do. We store energy, we use energy. And someone who's naturally skinny is leaning towards a side of using more energy or taking in less energy than they need to use. And I wager that if you really look into what that person is doing, they either exercise more than you think they do, or they eat less than you think they do, even if it might be shitty food, or they eat healthier than you think they do as a habit. And you might think it's natural for them because they are habits, and those habits might extend from childhood. My dad would sometimes send me to school with salmon, you know, and you know, other healthy foods. And we didn't like that stuff. But we didn't know, I didn't realize that these are things that I'm sort of getting my body used to. Well, number two, my dad ran our local youth soccer program in our neighborhood. And 
because he was a coach, I was always active. So, you know, to me, it just sort of makes sense that I would be skinnier than maybe the average person because I was doing a lot more activity. Even if I was eating shittier food at school, I was doing a lot of activity because I was in soccer. And so I was always running. You know, in our house, we weren't allowed to have butter in the house. It's not that we couldn't use it. There was no butter allowed. It was banned. That was just the way that we lived. Um, mayonnaise, we didn't eat that. Hot dogs, we didn't, we didn't eat any of this stuff. Um, and that was just how we grew up. And so I was a small guy for a long time. And, you know, we call it natural, but it's really about the habits. And so I'm wagering that people who you know, tend to be naturally skinny are people that have some sort of habit that makes them either use energy more or intake energy less. And if you spend a day with them or you know, really get to understand what they do on a regular basis over a long period of time, that you'll find that those, some of those habits actually exist for that person and that's the reason why they're skinny. That's it for the video this week. Um, you know, I really hope I was able to explain a few things that might have been a mystery to you. Um, and as usual, please reach out to me for questions. Um, and, you know, I'll talk to you again soon.